everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy if you're new here. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to do a mega Aritzia haul with a mini Zara haul. Um, Aritzia has had their sale going on since about Christmas time and I've been picking up items little by little along the way and I've accumulated a ton of stuff that I would love to show you guys and give you guys some great ideas because honestly one I never really knew much about Aritzia um, until this past fall and secondly I don't see a lot of people that look like me showing off Aritzia clothes and I don't understand why um, because I love their stuff so I figured since I am here I am going to do it and show it to you guys and hopefully you guys love what I have to do if you love, if you love content like this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hit the hit notification button and you can see more great videos from me along the way so let's get started the first item today is actually this shirt that I'm wearing right here um, this is the Andrews Thermal by TNA I believe I got this for $20 okay I'm wearing this with a skirt right now and it looks fabulous. You can't even really tell that I'm on a thermal. I mean, it does have the waffle knit because it is a thermal, um, but it looks amazing. I love it. Great quality. I have washed it a few times already and it has held up very well. Um, and it's warm. It's simple. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. You can layer it. What more could you want in a shirt for $20? It's an amazing shirt. And the $20 price is the sale price. I think it was originally $40 or $50. I would insert the original price and the sale price for you guys. And they have it in an array of colors. Um, colors have sold out as the sale progressed so they might still have a few colors left I will link it for you guys to check it out whatever colors they do have left um, that you can grab for yourself as well that's the first item <clears throat> moving along to the thermal section I also picked up this thermal from TNA as well this is the TNA Alder thermal it's very similar to what I have on with the exception that it's a lower this is a very um, tight crew neck this is a looser crew neck uh, thermal and the sides on it are much longer so it kind of covers your butt a little bit if you'd like to wear it out in that way. Um, it covers your bum and it drapes so, it's, so the way it's made is that it's cut up the sides so that you know that's kind of where it meets you and then it hangs in the front and it hangs in the back which is great for getting that like tucked in look that you, you know that half tucked in look. This thermal is so awesome for that. They also have it in multiple colors in multiple colors. Um, I picked up this color because it was the one on sale that I liked, to be honest. I would like to get a few more colors, but the colors I wanted were not on sale, and I didn't want to pay full price. That's the only reason I didn't pick it up. I wanted it in the lilac cloud color. It's like this off-white color. It's gorgeous, but it was full price. The full price is $40. I got this for $15, I believe. Um, it might be sold out in this color because it was such an awesome price for it. And this has a raw edge finish, uh, which I love on it because it's then good for tucking in because then when you tuck it into items that are thinner maybe like um, I'm trying to think like leather um, like faux leather leggings if you were to tuck this in it's awesome because there is no seam that's gonna bunch over at the bottom and show because it is seamless at the edges so it's awesome awesome for layering and tucking into items like that um, that's what I love about it another thermal that I picked up from <laughs> Ritzia is a another TNA one this one is called the I haven't worn this one yet, I actually just picked it up today. The TNA Yoon in the color Dry Basil Green. That's the color for this right here, it's Dry Basil Green, and it looks very similar to what I'm wearing. The main thing that people kind of care about if you want to know sizes, I am 5'10". Um, Bust-wise, I am a 32 triple D. Um, and yeah, so you can kind of figure out what would fit you and what would not fit you. Uh, so I think that's all I can really give in terms of upper body measurement to help you know your sizes as well. This was another item on sale. It was down from $50 to $24.99. Sorry, I was talking behind the shirt. Um, it's $24.99 from $50. And I really just thought this was so cute and simple. And it kind of gives you that thermal, but it's still dress. Like it's a little bit dressier than this would be, for example. Um, I think the buttons help it. And the fact that it's kind of got that, like, let's see what it's made out of. I don't want to give false information, so I'm going to look for the materials. So the material on this is 75% rayon, 21% polyester, and 4% elastane. Uh, so it does just kind of, that picks it up there for you guys. There we go. So it's very soft, um, and I really loved it when I put it on. I picked this up in the size medium. I think that's mainly because of the chest area. I didn't want it to be like, you know, doing the most. So I went for a medium so it wouldn't, you know when you, you know what I don't like when people wear shirts with buttons and the buttons 
or fighting to stay together. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so I didn't want to get that look with my shirt, so I went for a medium in this, and I'm really glad I did. It's beautiful. Now, moving on to sweaters that I picked up from Aritzia. I picked up a ton of sweaters. That is actually what led me to Aritzia was their sweaters, and I have really enjoyed what I've picked up from them so far. I will give a caveat as I show this on one of the sweaters, So because I'm going to be completely honest about my opinion on these. So we'll start with the least sweater sweater, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense with me. This I just picked up today, and the only reason why I got this is because, I mean, come on, it is so beautiful. So, that's the back, sorry. Here's the front. <laughs> it is so beautiful, and it's that soft um, eyelash. I just, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. It is beautiful. I don't know what other word to use. I have been eyeing this sweater. I should have tried this in a small. Anyways, I've been eyeing this sweater since I discovered Aritzia back in November. Every time that I would try it on, I would leave it because it's crop. I am not a crop girl. I do not like crop. I don't do crop. I don't think it's appropriate for me if like, I'm a mom. I just, my stomach ain't what it used to be, you know? The days aren't the same. So I'm not gonna be walking around a crop shirt. Even if my stomach was what it used to be, I probably still would walk around a crop shirt because I feel like now that I'm a mom, it's just, I can't imagine walking out with my son in a crop shirt, if that makes sense. Um, I just, I can't imagine doing that with my belly showing with my little son. So because of that, I'm not saying you can't, you can do it if that's what you're I'm just not comfortable with it because, I don't know, I'm not comfortable. With that being said, for the fifth time, after trying this on many times, the fifth time I tried it on, I finally brought it home with me. And here's my plan with it. I bought, which I'll show you guys later, a pair of really high-rise jeans that comes up to like here, so that I can wear this sweater without it being a crop. That shows up my stomach. Uh, because I tried it on with a cami underneath it, but I feel like it looked very weird when you could see my cami. I was really trying to wear clothes that don't fit me anymore is what it looks like. So I said, no, I need to get high-rise jeans that go all the way up so that this kind of and the high-rise jeans kind of meet at a good place. That's what I ended up doing. Moving right along with lightweight sweaters, uh, we'll go with this beauty here, this turtleneck. This beautiful snake prank turtleneck is by Babaton. I bought it in the size small. I have ripped the tag off because I have washed it. Um, so I can't, I will link the price for you guys. I'll find my receipt and make sure I have the price written there for you guys. But it is a beautiful turtleneck and with animal print being so it's on trend right now and I've always loved animal print so I'm really glad it's back. Um, I had to buy all the animal print things that I could all <laughs> So that's what I have done. And that's what this sweater is. It is a beautiful, it's a very stretchy um, sweater. It's not a thick knit. It's not a knit thick sweater. I will say that. But it is still warm if you layer it properly. It is still a warm option. Um, I will read the material for you guys. Once I find it. 94% rayon, 6% elastane. So it's very like stretchy, clingy. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and I look forward to wearing this in many ways. And I will probably be wearing this into spring and probably on summer days. Yes, I am the girl who wears a like in the summer because why the heck not? So I think that kind of covers my little sweaters onto the bigger knit sweaters this is probably my favorite sweater that I've purchased so far from Aritzia this is by the brand Wilfred and it's the essential chenille sweater is what it's called I remember because I just loved it so much the essential chenille sweater I originally bought it in a size small which is this blue one here because it would they didn't have any other size it just had a small so I bought it in a size small it came in I loved it so much but then I was like ah should I have got a medium because it just wasn't quite long enough for me, it's not crop or anything like that. It just kind of felt like it should be a little bit longer, if that makes sense. Uh, so I ended up going into the store one day when I was shopping, and I found the gray one in a medium, and I purchased it, and I love it. I love them both. I wear them both. Don't really care. One is just going to be a little bit more like I can kind of tuck this in, kind of get that loose look, versus this is more of a fitted length sweater. But they're both amazing. The exact same sweater. One's in a small, one's in a medium. And um, I just loved this color. I couldn't pass this color up. Look at it against my skin. I could not pass this color up. It was the wrong size, but I was like, I don't care. Because I could have returned it, but they didn't have my, they didn't have the medium. So I was like, no, I'm keeping it. It's beautiful against my skin. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, and so is this. Like, this also looks very lovely, very rich. So, love these two sweaters. Extremely warm, very well made. I have washed them both multiple times, and they have done very well. Um, one thing with the Ritzia sweaters, a lot of them, are hand wash only. Let's use this one hand wash only. Yep, yeah. hand wash cold. But what I've been doing, I haven't hand washed since we got our new laundry machine. I don't hand wash. 
um, mainly because our new laundry machine doesn't have an agitator. So what I do is I wash my clothes in there on the hand wash delicate cycle and um, I lay it flat to dry and I wash it cold, um, the shortest amount of time possible, etc, etc. There's a video on YouTube that I found that kind of gives you guidelines on how to wash and rinse your sweaters in the machine. I'll link that below for you guys. I can't remember her name, but I will link it below for you guys to check it out if you're interested in that. Um, so that's how I wash my sweaters because I use hand wash and it's for the birds. Sorry, I said it. It's for the birds. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to Aritzia's Montpellier sweater. You will find this sweater all over YouTube. People love it. I love it. I will be honest. I love it. However, yeah, let me actually show it to you guys first. I'll show them all and then I'll give you my however caveat. So this is the Montpellier sweater. It's an oversized look sweater. I have been buying it in a size small. Oh, that's so beautiful. I should have filmed the video in this. Look at that. Oh, look at that red. It is the perfect shade of red. Like, perfect shade of red. Look at that. Can I just keep that like that for the rest of the video? You guys pretend I'm fabulous in my red sweater. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so beautiful tight knit um, sweater. It is extremely warm. I will often wear just like a tank top underneath it and I'm usually good. I'm able to dress it up and down. I wear it with jeans. I wear it with skirts. I tuck it in. I leave it out. Um, I layer it with blazers on top. You can do so much with this sweater. It is so versatile. That is why I own four or five of it now. I own it in red. I own it in this beautiful mint color. That's upside down, Lenny. <laughs> there we go, in this mint color. I own it in yellow. And I have wanted to purchase more, but here comes the caveat in that I wanted to purchase many more colors but I had to pump my brakes after washing these sweaters a few times and most importantly wearing them a few times. And, I might just, and I've only washed this one I think twice um, because I wore it a lot over the holidays. So I've washed it twice, but I've worn it more than that. And here's what I started to find. Right along the inseam here and right along here where your arm rubs against your body, it's starting to pill. And here's the issue. This damn sweater here is too damn expensive to be pillin'. I said it. Aritzia, I need y'all to figure this out, okay? Because a lot of people who love this sweater um, said they had no issues with pillin' until recently. They've changed something in how it's made that the new ones are pillin'. The older ones are not. The newer ones are. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is, but they're pillin'. Now, it's not the pill that's like terrible. It's not a terrible pill, but for me, it shouldn't be pillin' at all. But I'll show you guys what I mean by the pillin', if you guys see it there. Do you guys see that? Yeah, I think that's picking up. Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. Should not be happening. So I'm not impressed by that. Um, yeah, so I've been picking it off and shaving it because it is still a fabulous sweater. It's just that for me, at that price, I made you not pill. Sorry, I said what I said. I meant what I said and I said what I said. It should not be pillin' at that price. If I bought a sweater at 20, 30 bucks and it was pillin', whatever, it is what it is. Like, it's a low cost sweater. But these are way too expensive to be having issues with pillin', especially so early in the game. Like, here's a red one that I've only won a handful of times. Look at that. It's terrible. It's terrible. That should not be happening over here. But, anyways, I still like it, so whatever. I just won't be buying anymore. I'll be wearing the heck out of these ones, though. Anyways, that sweater also comes in a sweater dress, the Montpellier sweater dress. I own it in two colors, in this pink, I just purchased this pink one, and likewise, I got it in a size small, and I also have it in a gray color as well. I think I've showed the gray color in probably my Christmas gift guide videos or something like that, so check it out there if you really want to see it. But there it is. We have the Lance sweater. This isn't a small, it's a cardigan, actually, the Lance cardigan. I got it in a size small. It's a pocketed cardigan. It's very sleek, very um, very sleek, very fitted. If a cardigan can be fitted, this is what a fitted cardigan would look like. It's beautiful, very well done, um, well made, very warm. I wore it out for date night the other night. Like I had, I think I had on a slip dress, and I put this on top of it, and it looked fabulous, and I was good to go. And then I belted it. So I put a belt on top of the cardigan and belted it in with my slip with my slip dress. Fabulous. Beautiful cardigan. Um, I actually didn't mean to get it in this color. That's the funny thing was I saw it in store. As I was trying trying clothes on, I saw someone else had it on. And she had it on a different color. It was also brown, but it was like a different tone. Yeah, different like camel tone color um, that she had on. And I kept my, I was like, I like that. I tried it on in the store, liked it, got to cash. And I was like, ugh, I spent too much money, so I took it out. 
Well, I got home two days later and I was just like, I want that cardigan. So I went online and I bought it, but bought the wrong color because I didn't take a picture of the color tag on the one that I tried on. Bought the wrong color, but it still works. It's still brown. It's still fabulous. Really, really love it. Very, very warm. And I just love that it's like a fitted cardigan that you can dress up with a belt and jewelry and stuff. And it's beautiful. I mean, you just can't go wrong. So this was on sale from 168 to 140 So not a whole lot, but something's better than nothing if you're going to buy it anyway, right? Starbucks break. Anyways, staying along the line of cardigans, we've got blazers. I just wanted to make sure I covered all the sweaters and stuff. I did. Okay. We've got blazers. So I picked up three blazers in total from Aritzia. And I'm going to show you how much I love them. So here is the first one. This is... What is this called? Oh, that's fantastic. It's got a fake tag. It's called the Trent. And it's like a um, blazer dress is kind of what it is. And it's marked, it was marked down to $69.99 from, I believe, from $300. It's been marked down a few times and it's down to $69.99. And I'm hoping it goes down even more when they have their snooze, snooze sale next week. But this is it. It is beautiful. I do think it'd be beautiful until I put it on. And then I said, ooh, ooh, we've got potential, honey. I loved it. I will be belting it. I'll be wearing it open as just a cardigan in the summer. I will be wearing it closed as a dress. I'll be wearing it closed as a shirt. Listen, this is going to be fabulous. And I'm so excited about it. So excited. It's just a basic blazer style material. So you're not going to get much like warmth out of it. You will get, you know, your layered warmth, but you can't just wear this with a cami and call yourself warm. That's not going to happen. It's by the brand Babaton, and I have it in a size 6. And I just love it. I just love it. Oh. My next blazer is also in a size 6. This is the Samuel blazer in the color beige red houndstooth. They have it in a few colors. A bunch of the colors all sold out online. I found this one in store, so I have to pick it up. Um, didn't have any of the other colors in store. But this is it. And it is a double-breasted blazer. And I love double-breasted. Love double-breasted. It's double double bre blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I'm joking. It's a double-breasted blazer. And I love it. It is beautiful. I love the button detail on it. It's very vintage. It's got very vintage vibes there with the buttons. It's, yeah, it's overall just a very vintage style blazer. And I enjoy that very much. It's got the little shoulder pads. It's not too much, but it's still enough that it's there to give you the structure you need. Throw this on with a pair of jeans and sneakers. Sneakers are coming back for me full force this year once the snow is gone because I don't like wearing my sneakers out when it's dirty. I like clean sneakers. So. It's dirty outside because the snow is melting. The <laughs> blazer is the Sherelle blazer. Look at the inside of that. Oh, the attention to detail here was fabulous. Now it's showing up more red on camera than it actually is. Um, in person, it's more of a rustic, a rust color is what I should call it. It's a rust color in person. I picked this up in the extra small. And like I said, it's called the Sherelle. This one does say dry clean only, which I didn't realize. That kind of sucks. I'm not sure if I'll try to wash it or not. Sherelle. Let's see what it's made out of. If it's made out of like polyester, yeah, I'm gonna machine wash this. Um, I'll just be very delicate with it, but I'm gonna machine wash it. I don't have time for dry clean only items, and I like to wash my clothes before I wear them. Those are my two things. I gotta wash my clothes before I wear them. Now, the only things I don't wash before I wear is outerwear because outerwear is usually going on top of other clothes, so I'm not as picky there. But with clothes that touch my skin, I like to wash them first. I just realized I skipped a sweater. Sorry, it was on the floor here. It fell. This is another sweater that I purchased, a turtleneck. It's by the brand Sunday Best, also from Aritzia. I went simple here, I just went with um, striped. It's like a blue and white stripe. It looks black, but it's blue and white. A lot of skirts from Aritzia. First one, we'll start with something that will be wearable in the summer. And that's this beauty right here. I believe I got this for 20 bucks. It's wrinkled, which means I didn't fold it properly. Come on, Lenny. So this skirt here is a Sunday Best skirt. I got it in a size small. Um, it's no longer available online, but I will list the details for you from my receipt down below. It's stretchy. Um, so here's what I like about it, is that A, it's a mini skirt. I'm not gonna pretend it's not, it is. I love the cut right here. I think that is so pretty. But here's the thing. People have worn mini skirts a lot the last season and this upcoming season, I can tell it's gonna be on trend. But I feel like for a lot of us black girls, mini skirts don't work without us looking trashy in these streets. So, I tend to stay away from buying miniskirts because once you have a little bit of a butt, 
a little bit of hips, mini skirts look trashy on you unless you're wearing something underneath them. Um, like I'll see girls in church with mini skirts on, but they tend to be very straight girls. I'm like, that looks cute. I can't wear that. I look like a pair of in church. But a skirt like this, however, changes that. Now I'm not gonna wear this to church, but still, I can wear this out without feeling provocative. Because it is so clingy, it actually stays with your shape and it doesn't look provocative. I wish I could explain that better, but that's the best I've got. It's not provocative, but it hugs your body in a very good way that it also stays. So you can bend over without showing everyone your booty. Um, you can move around freely without feeling like your skirt is giving away all your secrets. Um, for my pants size, for those who, again, want to fit yourself to size, I am a size 27, size 4 in most jeans, most bottoms. 4, 27, and small, medium, depending on the rise of the pants. Because um, I have smaller waist, but I have a little bit of hips on me. Like, my hips are like a 39 or 40, and my waist is like a 29. So, that kind of makes sense for you. That's where my sizes lie. So that's, anyways, I want the small in this. Next up from Aritzia, I bought a lot of midi skirts from them this season. This is the Wilfred, I think it's just called the Wilfred midi skirt. Of course, my animal print. This one was in a size four for me. I had initially bought in a size two from a different print, way too small. Uh, the six was too big. So this one, size four, fit me perfectly. It doesn't have much stretch. Um, really, it has no stretch really um, along the waistband there. So you have to know where you're going to be placed in it, where you're going to be sitting in it, to know what size you want to get. But I love this. It's very free-flowing and just very versatile as well. And with my animal print, <laughs> I told you guys, the exact same skirt, different print, size 4 by Wilfred. No difference other than the print. And this is also their midi skirt. I'm not sure if it's called a slip skirt. I will again put all that information down for you guys. Next up in their slip skirt, I got this. This is what I mean by the sizes being all kind of crazy. So this one has a little bit of give to the waist. This is the Wilford slip skirt. And I got this in a size 2 because it does have a much more elastic waistband. So it gives you a little bit of breathing room uh, to size up while still keeping it fitted where you need it fitted. Um, so yeah, I have this in a size 2 and it's just a basic black Black slip now skirt. this slip skirt here, the next two slip skirts here, I saw them online and I said to myself, nah, that's too loud, you're not wearing that out. So I didn't buy them. Well, I went into the store and I saw them hanging and I said, damn, that's beautiful. So I had to try them on and then I had to buy them because A, they were marked down like 70%. No, it was, it was 60% they were marked down and they looked beautiful. I know, <laughs> see, it's loud, right? The season for them is gone because they are more like holiday, but I don't care. I wore one of them to church last Sunday. Don't care. I'm aware what I'm aware. What I'm wearing. Okay. So this is the Wilfred slip skirt in size four. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Look at it. It just moves so beautifully. It's so oh, so rich. I love it. I love it. I love it. I wish I had. I wish I had already purchased it like when the holiday season was here because I would have worn it so much. But it is so beautiful. Have it in a size small. And it's lined. Uh, so that, yeah, so don't worry about it being like sheer or whatever. It's lined to give you the protection and coverage that you need all around. Then here's the second gold color for it. Look at that metallic. Oh, honey. Honey, look at this. It is so beautifully metallic. I love it. It was just so me. It was so me when I saw it. I wore it to church again, as I said last Sunday, and um, for my friend saw it on, and she was like, ooh, that is fabulous. I said, I know, honey. It was only 50 bucks. Yeah. I doubt they have any more of these online because one, they're way out of season, and they didn't have many more when I bought it, so. They also have it in a dress format if you want the dress, but I couldn't do the dress because I felt it was a little too much for me, but the skirt, I didn't mind. I could tear a pants I have from Aritzia. I actually fought it. I have seen many girls talk about these on YouTube. Okay, I have seen many girls talk about these pants on YouTube, and I didn't know if I liked how it looked, but the girls on YouTube, everyone raves about these pants. So when I went to the store today, to ha I had my, um, what do they call it again? PSA, they call it a PSA. It's a personal, personal shopping appointment is what they call it. So I had that in store today. So the sales associate had already picked out a ton of stuff for me, stuff that I sent her and stuff that she thought I would like. So she, well, here's how we got these pants. The blazer dress that I showed you guys, she had those for me. 
And I was like, ooh, okay, honey. I didn't send those to you, but okay. I put them on, and I said, I love them. She goes, you know what pants go great with those? She goes, do you have the Conan? Have you heard of the Conan pants? I said, I've heard of them, but I've been apprehensive about them because I don't know, I don't like how they look on some girls, but on some girls they look great, so I don't know how they look on me. She goes, you know what, let me get you a pair. So she comes back with the Conan pants. I put them on, I said, damn, girl. Now I'm buying these pants, too, and they're not even on sale. Why are you doing me like that? I said, I was going to buy anything that's not on sale. Well, I bought one item that wasn't on sale, the Conan pants, because they were that amazing. So here they are. I bought them in a size 4. Here's the beautiful part about these pants. They're very dressy in the front, but party in the back. My pants dirty. I haven't washed them because I just got them today. Um, but they're elastic backs. They're elastic! So they are extremely comfortable dress pants. That's the best way I can describe these. They are so comfortable. Now, I haven't worn them out in public for an entire day to like come back and give you feedback on that. But from trying them on, I probably had them on in the store for about 15 minutes because I tried on other shirts with it. And they were fabulous. They fit me really well. So now I have them. I'm really mad that I didn't get them when they were on sale because they were on sale. They took them off sale. I wish I'd, I wish I'd bit the bullet when they were on sale. But they're fabulous. I have them in a size 4, as I said. And I look forward to adding more of it to my collection. Now back to our dresses. I have two dresses to show you guys here. One is a thermal dress. Yeah, I picked up a thermal dress. This is red. This was in a size medium. And that was just the size that fit me really well. This is actually very similar. It might be the exact same as what I have on right now, actually, as I look at the neckline. The neckline looks the exact same as mine. But this is a dress for it. It is beautiful. It fits really well. It's really casual. But you can also, like, you can't, you can't dress it up, up. But you can... Mm, I wouldn't wear it to church. But I would wear it out shopping. I would wear it just lounging. I'd wear it with sneakers. Yeah. Put some jewelry on and you'd look like it's not. Here's what I would do with it is I would wear it as it is with a pair of sneakers, earrings, be done. But if I wanted to go somewhere where I wanted to look like I tried a little bit, then I'd put a little bit more jewelry on it. And that's how I would elevate the look in something like this would be with necklace, earrings that are a little bit louder, more statement necklaces. Um, and then maybe with like Valentino kind of rock stud flats. And that would add a little bit more shazam to it without it looking inappropriate like you're trying to wear a thermal to a wedding <laughs> you know what i mean yeah the next dress i picked up is it definitely more summery it's by the brand wilfred free and i have this in the size small i love the color and i love that it's also kind of got that raw unfinished hem at the bottom it's very similar to the other thermal that i showed you guys but except it's not a thermal it's an actual i don't know spandex style dress that looks really fabulous on me. What can I say? If I, amazing price if my memory serves me right and I don't remember what it was. It might have been like 15 or 20 or 25. I'll put all the information below. I'll find my receipt and make sure I list it all for you guys. But I really, really, really loved this and I was so happy. This from Maritzia is this joint right here. I wish I remembered the name and I don't. And I'm so mad at myself that I don't. It's also by the brand Wilford Free. It's in the size medium, which is funny because this is in a medium and this is in a small. <laughs> It's very funny. Um, I, I'm a yo-yo sizer. It all depends on where it fits and how it fits. Um, but this dress, y'all. <sighs> Can I say fabulous? Can I? Again? And I've said that about many things, but this dress right here. This dress right here. That is all. A moment. Just a moment for that dress. It is so amazing. It is that stretchy material it is warm it is a full length dress like it hits me as i said i'm 5'10 it hits me right above the ankle and i'm 5'10 so it's a nice long dress girls like myself don't get long dresses very often and it's got this beautiful slit that's not scandalous but still beautiful yeah it's beautiful so if you can get your hands on this i highly recommend this dress highly highly recommend it Three more items to finish off my Aritzia haul. I know, right? I told you guys it was a lot. Um, this wasn't like one shopping trip. It was a variety of shopping trips, online orders, all of that mixed together. But I have three more things to show you guys that are all in the out outerwear category. The first is the Wilfred... What is this called again? Brenna? That ain't what I asked you for, honey. What? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the Wilfred Brenna coat. It's the wool coat. It is their fine Italian wool, or is it? 
Yeah, it's a wool and cashmere blend made from Italy's finest mills. And it's in the color charcoal. It's the Brenna. Mine's in a size medium. It was on sale from $350 down to $175. And as I said, I got it in gray. Here's why I wanted this coat. This right here. I have wanted a hooded wool coat for a very, very long time. Very long time. And I finally found one that I loved enough to buy. And that was this right here. I really like it. I love the length. I love the arm. The arm length is usually an issue for me because a lot of times coats, the arms don't come down long enough and it looks weird. I'm like, no, your coat should, the sleeve should be hitting your wrist at the very least. Um, so this kind of checked all the boxes for me. It's beautiful. It's heavy, but not overwhelming. And I love that about it. So that's my Wilford coat. Next, also from Wilford in the size medium is the Cocoon coat. I've been eyeing this coat for quite a long time and I didn't know if I wanted it or not. And then I finally pulled the trigger and I love it. I got it in a pink color because it was the cheapest one. That's the real reason. They had it in multi multiple colors, um, but I just didn't feel like spending that much money on a coat because I just bought the hooded one as well. So I didn't really need this one. I just liked it. I said, no, it's gotta be cheap if I'm gonna buy it. So I got this. It's, it was down to, I mean, look at the pocket detail on that. Look how it like disappears and tries to be non-invasive. Love it. Uh, so this is the cocoon in the color pearly pink. And it was down to $163.99, and I believe it was $350. I just well. realized I forgot to show you guys my pants that I got from from Aritzia. I got two pairs of pants from them, denim forum. I think they're both denim forum pants. Yeah, they're both denim forum pants. One black, one blue. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that. They're the exact same style. They're both the high rise skinny. One's the high rise skinny crop, high rise skinny regular. And for these, I got a 28. I tried the 27 on. It fit. But it felt like I had to do a little bit of work to get into them. And I don't like having to work to get into my pants. I don't like it. The only thing I'll work to get into is my Spanx leggings. That's it. Nothing else gets work out of me. Okay, I ain't breaking a sweat for a pair of jeans. So I got them at 28. I sized up for that reason. And I really, really like them. They were very soft. Very comfortable. I love the bottom hem on these. Really, really like that. The black ones are just a basic, regular hem. Um, but I love them. So they're the ones I plan on wearing with that with this sweater. I plan to wear them with this sweater because they come up well high enough on me that I can wear a crop sweater on them without it showing my skin. So that's really why I bought these is for the sweater and then any other crop stuff that comes to my life, which probably won't happen. So that wraps up my Aritzia haul. Okay, now that we are done with Aritzia, let's move on to Zara. This is a long video. I apologize. I'm ranting. I'm trying to like cut myself off and I'm talking right now. I don't need you. So next. On the Zara side of things, I mainly only have bottoms to show you guys. The first ones are these right here. Um, Zara, for these they are called leggings. They're pant leggings style. But anyways, I just loved this right here. I love the button as well. I love the button detail. The big obnoxious button right there. I love it. This is in a size medium. I bought the small. Small didn't work out for me. I returned it and I got a medium. So I guess I have to get it in the blue. Because I thought that was just so retro and pretty. So, exact same thing, $12.99. Does it end there? No. I also got the same one, animal print. These are also considered leggings, I believe. Oh, these are just mid-rise skinny pants. Yeah, these are mid-rise skinny. Um, in the size 6, the 4 did not fit me. So, in a size 6 for these, they're mid-rise skinny. They're just pretty. <laughs> I have to do it. $12.99, y'all. $12.99. And then, two more items. I have this right here. It's a skirt. Okay, it's a skirt, but it's actually like shorts on the inside. It's beautiful. I have always loved frilly skirts ever since I discovered after I had a Lyo, I bought us a frilly um, jumpsuit, not romper, a frilly romper, and it was my favorite romper for that summer. Like I wore it all the time. I still wear it all the time now. I love it. So when I saw the frills on this, I'm like, ooh, that looks so cute on me because here's a secret about frills. If you have any kind of a booty on you and you want to wear short, short, short items, get them with frills. If you get them with frills, your butt does not look obnoxious. You don't look like you're trying to like, your butt's not hanging out of your clothes. The frills kind of like distract from the butt, which seems weird because they're on your butt, but they distract from it at the same time so that you don't look scandalous or, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Then we've got these because like I said, I had to. So party in the back. Oop. This is the back. So in the back, they're shorts, but in the front, they look like a skirt. Oh, let me just flip that around for you guys. So the front, let's do up the button. Oh, so the front looks like that. It looks like a short skirt, but in the back they're shorts. So they're just actually basic shorts that look shorter than they are. They're not actually that short on you because I thought they'd be like booty short. They're not. They're normal shorts and 
I love them. They're so not least the exact same thing, except this one is a tie front. And let me just zip up the sides for you here. These are skorts as well. There we go. Skorts in their shorts, but they look like a skirt in the front, but they're actually shorts. Love them. And then the last skirt from Zara was I tried their slip skirts. Okay, so I've tried the Zara slip skirt and I've tried the Aritzia slip skirt. The Zara slip skirt is much cheaper, but I'll be honest with you, the Aritzia one, 10 times better. So here's the Zara one. Just ignore the wrinkles, they were in my drawer, so I usually steam them before I wear them out. Um, this is the Aritzia, this is the Zara one. They were $12.99, so significantly cheaper than the Aritzia ones. The Aritzia ones are like 60 to 100. No, 620. 60 is like sale, odd colors, which I like. 120 is full price, you know, your blacks and stuff like that. So it's significantly cheaper. So if you don't really care, go for the Zara one. Personally, I still like my Ritzia ones better. So I only have one pair of the Zara ones. And these are in a size medium. It's even something as simple as the fact that like the Zara ones get much more wrinkled than the Aritzia ones do. It's little details like that, that for me, I prefer the Aritzia ones. But anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. This video was way too long. That covers my haul. That is my Zara, my Aritzia and Zara haul, mega haul. Everything will be linked details. Everything will be linked for you guys in the description box below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And um, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you giving me your time and have a blessed, great day. Bye now. This is a stick.